Hey everybody, it's MagusX here once again. Today I'm going to redo the permissions tutorial because it turned out that Permission X uh, plugin caused TechIt servers to malfunction when it came to the quarry. In other words, uh, the quarry just didn't work. Now, uh, this plugin does work for the quarries and everything seems pretty good. I've been using it for about a month now, so there hasn't been any issues. However, if you are using World Guard, be sure that you don't protect your quarries in a region. That could also cause them to malfunction. So I'm going to add skip annotations throughout the video in case there's something you already know and you want to jump ahead, but be sure to stay tuned. So first things first, we need permissions bucket. That's the plugin, and you just get it from right here. I'll throw this link in the description. You click download once or twice and you should be getting it. And um, Another thing that you're going to probably want is Notepad++, and this is to edit your permissions much easier. Uh, yeah, it's just really great. Another thing that I'm going to show you real quick is whenever you're downloading a plugin, you're going to want to make sure you get what's called a permission node list from that plugin. And what that is, it's, it basically breaks up the plugin into all sorts of different specific permissions that you can give or not give to your players. Now, uh, in case you're not really sure what a permission is yet, basically, um, you know how like you can opt people on server. Well, the issue is with opping people is some it gives them all the commands. Maybe you don't want to give them all the commands, like uh, maybe you only want to give them a few of them. And that what, that's what permissions is all about. And so you could be very specific with what people can and cannot do on your server. It's great. I love it. So let's get started. Uh, just like any other plugin, you're simply going to put the .zip file into your plugin folder and then you will have to launch your console to get the actual config. So first I'm going to show you real quick uh, what the default permissions are going to look like, explain that a little bit, and then I'll show you how to do the commands so that way you're able to get, uh, you know, functionality and you're able to set up permissions rather on the console itself, and if you don't have access to that, you'll also be able to use them in-game if you have the permissions for it. <laughs> Alright, so my world's all loaded up. Let's go into the plugins folder here, and you'll see that it did generate the permissions bucket folder. And here's where we're going to edit it. So if you have Notepad++, you'll want to just right click and edit with Notepad++. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like by default. And by default, it's set up pretty good. Basically, if a new user joins at this point, they won't be able to build anything or destroy anything or pick up anything. And until you set uh, their user, they will remain like that. So it's a nice little safety precaution. I'd recommend keeping it that way unless you're just not a... Uh, you know, you just don't care. So there's a ton of information right here. You may want to look over all this stuff in green, although that is set up as a comment, so you're more than welcome to delete that if you want to free up some space here. So another thing with Notepad++ is be sure to go into your language settings and switch it to YAML if it's not already. And that way there, if you make mistakes, it will highlight in red, just like that. So first things first about this whole permission thing, if you want to add stuff to it, notice that there is spacing here, and it has to be spaced out properly. But the thing is, if I wanted to add a new line here, for example, and I start typing, it's going to go red. Why is that? Well, whenever you press enter, it does do the spacing, but the thing is, it adds it as a tab instead of individual spaces. So to get rid of that issue, you just have to backspace all the tabs and do the actual spaces with the space bar yourself. Okay, so that's like that. I'm just going to start now. So let's go over some of the stuff and if you already kind of know this you could skip ahead to the actual um, you know I'll be using the council here second so first things first we have the users line and that's setting up the actual users and where we're gonna make changes for the users themselves so the next line down here is the actual name of the person so I'm gonna change that to Magus X so you can make your own changes as needed now the next line down is telling the file that I'm gonna start setting up the specific user commands now keep in mind though this is only if you want a user to have additional permissions that are not part of the group that they're in. So like you could have three different people in the normal users group, but maybe one particular people or person from that group will have additional plugins at your own choice. So if you wanted to edit in more, all you would have to do is, you know, press enter and then do the necessary spacing. So right here is an actual permission node. And you want to make sure as a good practice that whenever you download additional plugins that you search for the permission node 
list for that plugin. Very important. You may even want to copy it just like this and save it to a notepad or at least favorite the uh, the site itself or this page so you can come back to it because you'll need these permissions as you go on and get ideas and need to add more stuff. So, so this is where I would add additional nodes. I'll give you one example. If I wanted to add another one, now this one here is just an example node so like it doesn't really do anything. You could keep it there if you want uh, just to kind of help you out in the future. But if you wanted to add another one, for example, let's say right here world edit chunk info and what does it do get get information about the chunk that you were inside so if I wanted to give this specific user that permission I would simply just add it like that and then I put a I think it's a semicolon and then true now if you wanted them to wanted them to not be able to do that then you could set it to false okay so I don't really need that I just wanted to show you so I'm gonna get rid of that everything's fine for me here so let's continue on with the actual uh, file. So the next line down is going to tell this file which group this user is part of. So for me, that's admin. That's fine. So if you wanted to add another user at this point, you would simply just press enter and then do your spaces up until up until this line, I believe. Yeah, up until right here. And let's say Bob. So the user Bob, and then you would do it the same way. See how there it did the, did it in red again. Always make sure that you do your backspaces and then you do the spaces. So permissions, just the same. And then we would set up Bob's permissions. Like such. By the way, it's four spaces in between each thing. So permission er, permissions dot node true. That's just my example. Anyways, that's how you would do it. And then after that, you would also have to go down to groups. And then once again, uh, you would add, it is kind of annoying that you have to do all these backspaces, but I still prefer using a notepad plus plus over just normal notepad. And then here I would go, this group is part of user. Now let's actually get into how to edit and how to set up all the individual groups now that we're at this point. So I'm going to delete that because I don't actually need it at this point. It's just for the example. Now, here we go. This is where the file starts setting up all the different groups at this line right here. So the next line down is the actual group name. And, and I would recommend just keeping it like this, keeping it to default. Because when a new user joins, he will automatically get put into the default group. And it's kind of a safety or security precaution. This group, as you can see here, by the next line where the permissions start, you can see that this node here says permissions.build and it's set to false. And what that means is when the new user joins, uh, until he actually gets put into a different group, he won't be able to build or create or destroy or pick up any items or any of that stuff. So they could basically just have a tour until an admin gives him the permission to do so. Now, uh, let's continue on. So that's good. You can pretty much keep that as it is unless you have ideas that you want for your default group. So the next group down here is admin. And as you can see here, another space down and four spaces is permissions. And here's something that's new. It says permissions.star. And what that is, it's saying that an admin has the permission to do all the different nods that are part of the permission plugin. Now, if I wanted to go search for it, I could probably find it here. Uh, and here we are. Here's all the different nodes. So as I was saying, this star means that an admin will have all these nodes. Now maybe you don't want that. If you want uh, your admins to simply only be able to set a group, you could just give them the, where is it now? the set group command and that way there they could simply change which group a player is part of or you could check it all out and as you understand more you'll be able to fill it in more so once again the star means that they get all these permissions now let's continue on inheritance so what that means is this admin group will get the same permissions that whatever you put in there so in this case admin gains all the permissions that the user group gains so that would be right here and it would also uh, do the world specific permissions as well. So let's actually explain that. Uh, here in users, you see that it says worlds. And then right down here, this would be where you put the name of the world. So as an example, Tectonic Island, that's one of my worlds. So what that means is you could have multiple worlds and that player will have a different set of permissions depending on which world they're, they're in. So if you wanted to add another one, uh, whoops, I added there a space. But if you wanted to add another one, it'd be pretty much the same thing. Uh, let's say hack mine, that's my other server whatever it would go it would go like that and then you would continue on with the permissions there even though I didn't do my backspacing and whatever so that's that 
but I don't need to have specific world permissions. It really, what I would do if I wanted to do that is just have a separate folder altogether because it just makes it so much easier. But if you're using world to world transporting or teleporting and stuff, this is where that would come into handy, come in hand. Sorry. So let's continue on. Now, so there is one little change that you're going to want to make here, and it's the inheritance that's in the user group. What happens is, as soon as someone logs in that's part of the users group, it's going to inherit part of the default group, which will quickly tell them that they're not allowed to build and all that stuff, and it could actually cause their inventory to get deleted. This is an issue that I had. It might have been because of another plugin, but I just will delete this altogether. I don't need them to inherit that permission. Once they're set to user, I'm fine with that. So if you wanted to add any additional nods, once again, it would be the same way as before. You just do your enter, your backspaces, and then the permission, the actual nod itself. So now here's in one more example before we continue on with the actual commands is let's say you wanted to give uh, admins, we'll do it for admins, let's say you wanted the admins to have all these nods except for one of them. What you would do is you would go into admin and you can see here first you would give them the star command so they gain all of them but then what you're gonna do is is you're gonna add a permissions, oh, excuse me, let me do my spaces so permissions dot um, let's say onset perm. I don't want uh, my admins to be able to onset someone's permissions, I guess. And then you would switch that to false. And that they, that way there, first they would gain all the permissions, but then they would on gain this specific permission. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that helps you understand how to set all this up. So once you're done, you're going to have to save it. And you will also have to do a, a command in the council. Or if you have the permission, you could do this command in game. And what it is, is you have to type in perm reload. And that way the configuration file gets reloaded. Uh, now if you don't do that, you would have to restart the actual server. So that's just a way that you can do it without having to restart the server. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to actually do the commands rather in the console or game. So let's get started. I'm gonna keep my actual permissions file open so you can see how it gets changed as I do it. So first things first, anytime you make a change, if you want it to actually get affected, it will, will not be current until you type in perm reload. So it's very important that you know that, otherwise the changes you make won't go into effect. So first things first, type in perm, and that's going to give you, oh, type in perm, and that'll give you an actual list of all the different, uh, you know, commands that you have. And you could even go deeper into that. Let's say we wanted to edit a specific group. You could type in perm group, and that'll give you the actual specific commands just for the group. Here you see we have group list, group players, set perm, onset perm. So let's start by, um, this will probably be the one that you use the most, is let's start by adding a new player, a new user. So someone joins your your server, and by default, they put it, gets put into the default, and instead of having to come to your actual council, you could do it right out of the game. It would be this exact command right here. So perm player, and then you could type that in once again. You'll get your specific uh, command. So perm player. In this case, we want to set group. We want to set as group, and then followed by that, we have the actual player's name. So let's call him Joe Blow, <laughs> and then another space, and then the actual group name. So we want to make him a user. So now Joe Blow is a user. So let's click here, and you'll see that it's going to get me to reload it. I just click yes. So let's go check that out. Right here, you can see Joe Blow, and he got added to the group user. Now, disregard all this crap here. I'm actually going to delete it. That was just me playing around earlier, and I made a mistake. So let's continue on. I'm going to save that file. We're going to do perm reload. Now, let's say you wanted to give that user a specific permission that other users of the group user don't have. Uh, you know, maybe he's your buddy and you want him to be able to set other players' uh, groups eh, because you trust them or something. Whatever it may be, this is how you do it. So it's perm player. And once again, I like to do it like this because it, it always guides me. Perm player. And then we want to... Um, we want to set one of his permissions. So set perm, and then it's going to be the actual player name. So Joe Blow, and then it's going to be, well, if you want to put it in a specific world, this is where you would put the world name, but I, do, I don't go that way. So I'm just going to put in the actual node. So in my case, I want him to have, uh, let's see, world edit uh, dot wand, and that's just the wand command for the world edit. And then another space, and rather true or false. In my case, it would be true. And you'll see here, player Joe Blow has now, now has world edit dot one. We click here and we'll see how it got added. Just like any of the other permissions, it added it like such. And then you want to perm reload again. 
So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, you know, you could explore the rest of the commands yourself for the most part. I showed you how to do that and how to get it to help you create commands. Uh, I'll show you one more. If you wanted to add another group, we can go perm group. Okay. Well, actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to set a uh, permission for the group itself. I use um, a warping plugin called Just Warps, and uh, sometimes I like I give the users uh, permission to do some of the warps, but I don't want them to do all the warps. So you could actually do that with this Just Warps command. It's pretty cool. So it would look something like this: perm group, and then once again I'll do that like that: perm group set perm. And then in this case, we want the group name itself, so that's user, and then the actual perm. So for me, it would be just warp slash uh, warps, and then the name of the warp, uh, home, whatever, and then true. So now the group user, every single person in the group, can use the home warp that I have. And that's just an example, right? If I wanted uh, a certain player to just be able to use uh, this warp, but I don't want the other players from the group to use that warp, I would set it to their player uh, data instead of the group data. Now I'll show you one more thing. Uh, to actually remove a permission, it wouldn't be you know perm set perm uh, and then false in the end. What you're gonna have to do to actually remove it is perm. Uh, we'll say for example player. We'll do it for the player, and then we want to onset perm, and then the actual player name Joe Blow, and he had which one? World edits dot wand, and we'll just do that. Let's see if it worked. Oh, I didn't do it right. So once again, it's very helpful. It actually shows you, as you can see here, exactly what you did wrong, or it guides you to do it right. So we'll try that again. Perm player onset perm and the player's name Joe Blow and then the actual node itself which is world edit dot wand and there we go no longer has it you don't need to do the true or false for that one I think that's where I failed the previous time maybe so click here and we'll see it's now gone perfect so don't forget to perm reload and that's pretty much it. So if you have any specific questions or you need any help for a specific plugin or something with the permissions, be sure to comment in the section below. Please give this video a like if this was helpful for you. Hopefully you're all in a you know general understanding now and you're able to do it for yourself. But don't hesitate to ask if you need the help. So that's pretty much it for today. Have yourselves a great one. And uh, do any requests. Don't forget to subscribe for daily content and all the good stuff. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.